hi guys uh, so uh, we are covering the anglo js tutorial from the past few session so we done a lot of uh, stuff sir here so initially we binded the data we done a filtering shorting pagination and how to add the records so this time i want to show you how to edit the records so today's topics i going to cover is how to edit the uh, record existing record so let me flip the studio I don't want my other stuffs to be visible so that let uh, just okay this is my form add summit okay so uh, I just uh, take over my row I created sorry just uh, go and uh, create uh, one more column uh, uh, called uh, edit uh, okay so I don't want to I just uh, make a static text close the anchor tag so here pop up okay so I just call the simple function called pop up so here I planning to create one more called pop up function so this function what it will do uh, uh, this will uh, one second uh, I just want to pause uh, this yum stuffs too. Okay, uh, this will uh, pass the scope to edit student, and uh, here I just uh, give us a. Uh, edit uh, model dot show ok so I just uh, copy paste this model uh, div again one more time ok I just keep this is uh, in a down so uh, if you have any confusion about what I am doing because of the I cover a lot of stuffs in a few session I don't want to repeat those stuffs in every session so that's what I just doing very quickly so if you have any doubt clarification Please go through my previous session videos or in the AngularJS uh, playlist uh, tutorial in my channel. Okay, fine. Uh, so in here, what I going to do? I am mm, planning to. I want a text box. Okay. If you have any doubt, just to play back the video and uh, just try to understand it, because uh, maybe your and my vision a bit uh, different but anyways uh, our concept it will work so really good ok so here ng sorry dot uh, model equal Okay, edit student dot student name. I just want to test whether this way I proceed it will work or not. So let me go and uh, flip my. Uh, uh, I just want to run the application. So, anyways, I pause the model over here. Okay, no problem. Let me go and uh, rerun the my page. 
this refers a page okay I got a edit here uh, yes so it's working really nice okay so on edit uh, tier oh it's nice good okay fine mm. so this is a way I, I, I going to proceed in for every everything I planning to add student mm, I, okay one second I just close it and the form whatever I submitting I will uh, take it over here okay uh, just to take one more step it's called form okay so here I just deal with the update so I just remove I all the stops okay fine so my model this time is edit okay uh, fine the student marks should be a marks and exact what's a parameter for phone it's a phone created date must be a credit date so now my form post is update okay now I go and create update I just copy paste the same add a function that I already written that if you have any uh, clarification on add please go through my uh, uh, post two sessions you will get a clear uh, picture how we are doing okay so now I'm going to do the update stuffs. Just to zoom a little bit uh, to get a little brighter version. Mm, okay. Update. Here also just to zoom in. Okay, this is update. on update uh, here what I going to do I just going to pass my ID as a tricky way I just take my ID here dot ID ok then my ID gets to be Okay. Here, what I going to do? I just uh, close all the stuffs. Okay. I don't want to add function. I don't want get particular pop up. Anyways, I'm doing now currently. So student. Okay. No. 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 Mm, I don't want this stuff because this, this at all already we done so now I just uh, open my okay okay now I going to create our own update service just to copy paste the same stuff there is no much complicated vision here so just copy paste here I am telling put student put the student into the bucket so here also I am mentioning my API hey, what is my API is put student ok so I have a uh, two different parameters here one I have to pause a student and plus id ok id slash comma student okay uh, if you go and see my put function I pass my ID plus my uh, model so once ID is not matched with this one it will return a bad otherwise 
uh, it will create an entry state and uh, entry state to set to a modify and it will save the data synchronously so this is what uh, put uh, put api is going to do so the same likewise i am going to do the steps mm. anyways my form is ready now on update my update uh, statement will uh, trigger and uh, do the all the operation so let me go on the uh, on, on sec okay my put uh, service is ready then i go and uh, do the put uh, put service plus id is my data uh, good now okay so now uh, with that id again uh, the data will be pushed to back uh, to the session uh, good now okay let me go and uh, run one more time with the debug mode i just want to know that uh, whether the data is coming correctly or not okay good stuff sweden so far uh, we'll see it will work in a first time or it will uh, give me give me some other bugs uh, to rectify okay always uh, welcome bugs uh, so that's why we will deliver in a good uh, good code every time so not be a major one okay fine i just to go and read it the first record test to dr okay test to dr to test edit okay my mark i change it to score to 90 and again i going to update all the stuffs oops my update statement is not working uh, yeah it's not working of course it is not uh, okay uh, 